Hey guys, how are you all doing? The Wrestling Guy back here today, joined by the Chairman of the Board, and today we have our Day 1 predictions. Yeah. So, 2022 is kicking us off with a bang. We have, uh, obviously, the WWE Day 1 pay-per-view, and we will be giving our predictions today. Yeah, so, we've got a pay-per-view on a Saturday as well. I mean, what is going on? Like, this just seems crazy, like dogs living in peace and harmony like is the world <laughs> suddenly gone mad it's like what's going on a saturday night pay-per-view but hey yeah. why not so bring bring in the new year with, yeah. with a pay-per-view looking definitely. forward to this yeah. i think there's some really interesting stuff lined up on this but yeah. we'll go through that with definitely you. yep so we're going to kick things off with the first match becky lynch versus Liv morgan for the raw women's championship um i personally am really looking forward to this one um i really enjoyed their last match um i think this could be Liv's time we'll see what they have in store for us um, your thoughts on this match? Yeah, I got. Yeah, I got to agree on that. I'm yeah. really looking forward to this. I think this is a. Um, they they showed in their last match they've got the chemistry there. Um, they worked really yeah. well together. I think this is a great opportunity um, for them to um, elevate Liv Morgan up to sort of the top, the, the higher status. Um, Liv Morgan's always been a background character she's when the time when she was with the riot squad and things like that um now she seems to be coming through um her look is great um her moves are really uh, her moves have got cleaner over the, over the months you can tell that she's really been working at it um she's even working well on the mic she's doing some good stuff there as well um is this her time i hope so i yeah. hope so um the fans are really behind her Great to see um, fans behind young talent. Um, really hoping that the office are behind her as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, really, yeah, really, really looking forward to this one. Any predictions on this one? Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to go with my heart. Liv Morgan, Liv Morgan. Okay, as a champion. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I. My he my head says my head says my head says no, but my heart says yeah. So I'm gonna go with my heart. I'm gonna say new Raw Women's Champion Liv Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, yeah. Please, uh, come please come on. Yes, let's 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 have this happen. Yeah. yeah, come on, start start us off with a positive for for 2022. Start we like nice right. things. Yes, definitely. Uh, yeah. Okay, next right. match. All right. So next match we've got down then uh, is uh, the Universal Championship match between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Now there's been some great build up on this. The the storytelling yes. for the last um, couple of months has been really really good. Uh, really been enjoying it. The whole interaction between Roman Reigns, uh, Brock Lesnar, um, and Paul Heyman as well. Paul Heyman, the stuff he's been doing, absolutely sublime. Loving the whole kind of. Um, is he with Brock? Isn't he with Brock? Where does his loyalties lie? Um, obviously, we've just seen him get uh, get fired by Roman Reigns as well. Um, but even that kind of mm. leaves questions. It's so many questions in this. I, I love it. I love the the whole the whole intrigue. It doesn't get you. It just gets just grabs you and makes you interested in the in the whole match and the whole story of it all. So yeah, really invested in it. Um, the crowd seemed to really be into new Brock Lesnar as well. This, this farmer yeah. boy Brock Lesnar look seems to really be working for him as well. Yeah, um, and I think he looks absolutely great as well. I think he, since he's come back, he's been he's been really good. Yeah, and I think this match is definitely going to be potential to be match of the night. I think mm. this one really could steal it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I think it's, it's been good that the, the fans have really got into a, a into a face Brock Lesnar as well mm. um, because it's different. Um, and sometimes fans don't like different. Sometimes people like things the same. Um, this, I think, has been great. So, yeah, so yeah. really, really liking this one. Uh, I'm going to chuck in my prediction for you, first of all. I am going to say... <sighs> I'm going to stick with the Universal Champion. I'm going to stick with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns retains it. Um, by hook or by crook, w whether it's due to outside interference by Paul Heyman, I don't know. Um, there's always that possibility that this is a swerve, I don't know. But I'm going to stick and say, um, still your Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to agree. Uh, I I wasn't sure who to go for, but I'm going to stick with the head of the table, Roman Reigns. Yeah, still Universal Champion. Yeah, I just got a feeling there's, there's yeah. a swerve in there somewhere. Yeah, uh, we'll, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, might be wrong. But really looking forward to this match. It's yeah. going to be really good. Oh yeah, I think this, this is this is like you said, got the chance to be a show uh, match of the night. Yeah, so. definitely. Match number three. Then we have obviously the huge fatal four way match for the WWE Championship mm. between Big E, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and Bobby Lashley. I'm really looking forward to this one. I like all four of these guys that are in are in this match, um, and obviously 
Bobby Lashley's just been entered into the match, which is, just adds an extra as the cherry on the top of the cake. Mm. Um, I think this one could could really be, again, another potential show, show yeah. stealer of the night. Yeah. Um, as far as a prediction would go, oh, this is where it gets this is where it gets tricky. Harder right? when there's four people in it, <laughs> to try and, and, there, and there's four people where you could easily see them win it for different reasons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Big Biggie could potentially uh, re- re- retain it. Um, he's he's only had it for a short amount of time. Um, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has been champion before. Uh, we could see him be champion again. His his work that he's doing at the moment as um, with his character has been absolutely mm. amazing. Uh, people are absolutely hating him, um, which is great because that's what he that's what he should be doing as as a heel. Um, Kevin Owens. His his changing character over the last couple of months. Oh, I think is yeah. So I mean, I, you could see him sneaking out a win somehow. Um, Maybe turning on. I mean, him and Seth have been working together of, of late. Maybe they'll turn on each other. I'd imagine they will at some point in the match, anyway. Being a fatal four way, uh, and Bobby Lashley say the, the the cherry on the cake, the surprise sort of addition yeah. to the match, um, and a former champion as well. So it's a really difficult one yeah. to try and. I think that I, I. I mean, my heart's obviously telling you Seth Rollins. I mean, that's yeah, just, you're a, you're a Seth Rollins uh, guy, aren't Seth, you? So yeah, a hundred percent. But I think I'm, for this one, I'm going to have to go with my head. And I'm going to say Big E's going to retain the okay. title. Okay. Um, I am surprisingly actually going to agree with you on this yeah. one. I think Big E is going to retain this one. Um, I think I, I, I think fans have been rather critical of, of Big E's title, title run at the moment. Um, but I think he's been doing all right. I think he's been doing really good. I think... Biggie could retain this and still have good singles matches between these other three guys and still make it really interesting. Yeah, so at the moment, I'm going to say Biggie. There is one other reason why I think as well, and I'm going to tell you why after the next one. So the next match that we have uh, coming up on here um, is the SmackDown Tag Team title match between the Usos and the New Day. Oh, this should be good. This mm. should be good. Yeah. So we've seen these guys have some absolute classics um, before. Um, going to be really good to see it again um, and obviously this time obviously um, the Usos are the sort of the big heels mm. in this isn't it it's been before where they've both been baby faces um, so be, be, this is going to be an interesting dynamic in this one um, and obviously without um, without Big E included as mm. well it's going to be Woods and, and Kofi um, so I think that's going to make it really interesting as well I think we're going to see some high flying. Um, I think we're going to see some hard hitting. Uh, the Usos are playing the heel, so I wouldn't mind. We we're supposed to be see a few cheating moves, things like that in there. I think this has the, the potential yeah. to be a, a, a be a, a great match. Will it be up with the level of some of their other ones? We'll wait and see. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be a really yeah. Good. These guys, all four of these guys know what they're doing. Mm. This is going to be this is going to be some good wrestling in this match. Yeah, and also bear in mind, obviously, um, uh, Xavier Woods doing the, the whole King gimmick in there as well. Um, so is that going to add any element to it as well? We shall yeah. see. Um, my thoughts on this one. I am going to go with new tag team champions, the New Day. I can see there being a moment where they have the New Day and Big E in the ring together for the start of 2022, all holding a belt. Mm. Um, I don't know why. I can pick, I just picture it in my head that it's yeah. going to happen. Um, so I'm going to go out on this one and say that the, the tag team titles are going to change hands. Um, and we are going to see the New Day holding them aloft. Okay. Your thoughts? Yeah. Uh, I, I also agree. I think the New Day are going to win, not for that reason. That is a very interesting uh, dynamic there, though. Um, but, yeah, I think the New Day, New SmackDown Tag Team Champions, obviously, like you say, King Woods at the moment. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's time to see some fresh faces with the gold. I mean, the Usos have been good, um, but... I think WWE in 2022, I'd like to see them put a bit more emphasis on the tag division and the New Day really seem to know how to make themselves out there. They yeah. seem to, people always seem to know who the New Day are. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I yeah. think that would be a just good just think it'd be interesting yeah. to see. We've seen the bloodline walking around with all the belts for so, for so long. Um, I just think it'd be interesting to see the New Day walking around with yeah. belts. Um, and see. see what yeah, we'll see there. what happens. But, yeah, but I'm going to go with that. Okay, match number five. This is personally the match I'm most looking forward to out of all of them. Mm. Edge versus The Miz. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be so good. I, as soon as I heard this was going to be a match, I was so excited. Um, the build-up to this match has obviously been great, as it always is yeah. with Edge and with The Miz. And you put them two together, it's going to be absolutely sublime. Um, obviously, the return of Maurice as well, which was... Oh, it's yes. always, 
it was always good, so always nice to see. Um, as far as a prediction would go, this is where it gets difficult. Yeah, I've, I've been struggling with this one as well. Um, I think the, the build-up for this one has been really, really good. There's been some great yeah. stuff on here. Um, the whole um, uh, Ms. TV stuff, the whole cut, the cut, the cutting edge, um, the bit where um, Maurice getting involved as well. I think all that's been really good. And obviously, we've had um, on uh, Raw as well. We had the uh, the wedding vow renewal turning into the the, the bloodbath. Um, that was <laughs> that, was, <good>. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Um, <clears throat> and I think both the guys. Both Edge and The Miz have been so strong um, in building up the interest for this match as well. Um, and I, I really like The Miz. I really, really do like The Miz. And I think The Miz makes what makes you want to watch it because he gets your interest. He gets he, he does his typical Miz things. He does his sort of typical heel stuff and everything. But he, he's so good at doing it that he invests you in it. And Edge, I mean, at the moment, I think Edge, everything that he's doing at the moment is great as well. He's really catching that interest. This one is a really hard one to call because I think both guys could really do with the win on this. Could this could this be the big push that Edge needs to start 2022? Could this be the boom and make 2022 could possibly be his last year? Um, could this be the year where he goes out and, and does it? Could this be the starting block um, for him to get to WrestleMania? We will see. I think the Miz would deserve to win this match as well because I think the Miz needs some push up. He needs some push up on there. The, the title run that they gave him last year was so short, um, and he deserved to, he deserved to hold the title. Um, he really did. Um, so I think the Miz could really do with this win as well. I'd like to see twenty twenty two be be a good be a good year for Miz. I think Miz deserves another title run. I really do. I mean, he is such a company guy. Um, as far as this one goes, uh, I toss up a coin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put mine out there. Edge. Chuck it out there. Edge. Okay, just because I don't yeah. want us to agree on every match that we put on here, I'm gonna say the Miz. <laughs> so, okay. I, yeah. I, re I would really like to see the Miz, the Miz win this one. Um, so yeah, so you say Edge, I'll say Miz, and then yeah. we, we've we've but disagreed on one. But... I'd be happy with both. Yeah, I think yeah, I think, yeah. Be... I think this is this yeah. is a really tough one to call. Out of all the matches, I think this is the toughest one to call. Yeah. Um, I think they they would both deserve it. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, it's so going to be a great match. Right, okay. Uh, match six on this one then. We have uh, Drew McIntyre versus Madcap Moss. Uh, <laughs> dear. Um, I'm, why isn't Drew in that... that um, yeah. Why is Drew, yeah, why is Drew not fighting for the title? Uh, that doesn't... I've, why, uh, why is he not... Where's, where's the Intercontinental title? Why, yeah. is, why is Drew not going after? I can't yeah. even remember the... Uh, no, Nakamura. Nakamura, Nakamura isn't it? But it's going to be Nakamura and, and Sami Zayn, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, is that going to be a last minute match that they're going to call in? Well, I don't maybe, know because don't they know. haven't they haven't mentioned it yet. So, um, but yeah, Drew McIntyre, and Madcap Moss. I don't care. I, I uh, and so, I'm sorry, sorry to say this, but this has been some of the weakest storyline going on. <laughs> the whole burying his sword into the desk and rub it. Oh, <laughs> really? Like we're grown ups. Like we don't need this. Uh, well, and and what what a fall for for Drew, isn't it? It's like, it just seems like last year Drew's up here and now he's doing stuff. That's like oh, I don't, I, I don't know. Suck the life out of me. This uh, one. Everyone I'm, was saying that this that twenty twenty two is going to be the rebirth of Drew McIntyre. Not a good start. Not, not like this. It's not, not 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 a good not a good start. If that's what if that's what they're uh, no, that's what they're planning. So the problem is, I can just see this going exactly the same way as it always does. It'll be Drew and Madcap Moss. Uh, Corbin's going to interfere. The next event then is going to be Drew versus Corbin. Moss is going to interfere. <laughs> <sighs> then I'll probably do a handicap yeah, match. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't care. Don't care. Um, no, this isn't. Yeah. This isn't. I'm. I'm. I'm really not worried about this match. Drew McIntyre is going to win it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is. Yeah. Drew for the win. Um, Let's move on. <laughs> the one. One thing I would say though is, is, is I'm liking the relationship between Sheamus and Drew this forming. Yeah, that has been good. Yeah, I, I'm liking that, but not like this. Like, yeah. But I I do like the relationship between Madcap Moss and and Corbin. I think yeah. it, it it is working. Um 
I just think that Drew Drew's better than this. Yeah, um, Drew is better than this. Um, and, and like I said, the the story the, the storytelling has provided zero interest in the, in this match at all. This yeah. is this is going to be an opener, or this is going to be kick off. Yeah, mm. or kick off show. I don't. Yeah, hopefully I don't kick off. hopefully kick off show because I'm not bothered. But yeah. but yeah, yeah, not not a good one on yeah. there. So. Okay, um, so the final match that was just added on uh, Raw last night, it was um, uh, RK Bro defending the Raw Tag Team titles against the winners of the tournament, the Street Profits. Yeah. Um, so this should be good. I'm I'm a big fan of 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 the Street Profits. I think they're they're what we define as a typical tag team. Yeah. They look the same, always come out together, um, and it'd be an interesting dynamic having a mismatched tag team against a proper tag team. Yeah. Um, right. Although RK Bro. They're creating the following. Fans absolutely seem to be behind them. They like the stuff they're doing. Um, they've been good as champions as well. Um, and they are developing that chemistry. Uh, I think it should be a good match. Mm. Um, yeah. I think the, the fans are definitely behind it all. I think the the, the the tournament format was a good idea. Nice, to, Always nice to get a little tournament in every now and again. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And I think um, out of the, the teams that were in it, I think... Um, Personally, I think this is one of the ones I would have picked from early on to, to have gone through yeah. um, to the final anyway. I think, yeah, I think this would be good. Like you said, in an interesting dynamic between the um, the mismatch of Orton and Riddle um, versus uh, the proper sort of tag team yeah. of, of the Street Profits. Um, yeah, I think this is this would, this should be an interesting one. Where am I going with this one? I think uh, I'm going to say this. This is an, again, this is another interesting one because I think Street Profits would it would be good to see the belts back on the Profits. In all honesty, I think I'd like to see Profits holding holding the tag titles again. Um, but I think at the moment people are really liking RK Bro. Um, I think it's doing really really well. Um, I think maybe it'd be too early to split them up. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say that. Um, Retaining the titles, yeah. RK Bro. I agree. Yeah, I'm going to go with RK Bro as well. So, um, yeah, so that's all of the, all seven of the matches, six or seven of the matches. Um, there are the potential of a couple more to be released. I um, wouldn't be surprised if the Intercontinental title match goes on there. Yeah. With Zane, and, um, Zane and Nakamura. Yeah. I see that yeah. Zane's become the number one contender yeah. for it. I can yeah. see that one being added on there. Yeah. So, uh, we really hope you guys enjoy the pay per view. We will be doing a uh, day one review after the pay per view has um, mm. taken place. So, please. Keep an eye out for that one. Uh, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And let us know down below in the comment section your uh, predictions as well. Uh, do you agree with us or do you do you think something different will happen? Yeah, yeah. It'd be interesting uh, to see what the... you guys think as well. Because yeah. because obviously everything that we say here is is our opinions. Um, yeah. We may be right, we may be wrong, but it's just how we feel about stuff. Yeah. It'd be interesting to know what you guys think as well. We'd like to know what what your opinions yeah. are on anything. Yeah. That we so do. yeah, definitely. Uh, hit the thumbs up button, and we will see you in the next episode.